Evening guys, it's Lee, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel this evening and to this What I've Worn This Week video. So we have a selection of current and retired fragrances. So I will start with Muppets, or the Muppets I should say. And the scent description for this one is show-stopping sparkling melon, cherry berry and sunny Valencia orange dazzle the applauding audience, while creamy vanilla soothes even the crankiest hecklers in the balcony. And I, I am a heckler of this one. Um, I'm just not a fan. I'm just really not a fan of this one. Um, I know some people do really like it, but for me, I don't know. It, there's just something about this one that I'm not keen on. Um, I will. I've only warmed one cube. I will um, warm the rest, but definitely not a repurchase for me, unfortunately. <clears throat> then we have one which has returned as part of the harvest collection so this is from the nightmare before christmas collection and it is jack's obsession and the scent description for this is eureka this cauldron full of spiced apple with clove and cinnamon makes a ghoulishly grand brew <clears throat> this one was in my scent club for a while i took it out when i realized that it was one that does come back um it is a really nice spiced baked apple scent, but more of a almost like a crisp green baked apple rather than an overly sweet red is kind of how I would describe it. Um, yeah, so this is still available. Um, there are two other waxes in the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, which is Halloween Town and the new one, which is The Roll of the Dice haven't tried those two I do have them on order however I not heard the best of things about the roll of the dice and I've heard mixed things about Halloween Town so I do have three bars of each coming so I'm hoping that I like them otherwise they will be relegated to the utility room so yeah, I have actually finished this bar up um, and then on to the Disney Villains collection, Ursula, Poor Unfortunate Souls. Now this one, I absolutely love, love, love this fragrance, but for me, unfortunately, it just doesn't perform very well. It, it's just very, very light. So if you don't like in your face fragrances, I can recommend this. It was relaunched tonight as part of the Disney Villains Collection relaunch. It was previously only available in a three pack with Maleficent, Mistress of Evil and the Evil Queen Just One Bite. I believe as of tonight they are now available as individual bars but they can also be bundled and saved with other limited or licensed bars, including the new Villains Dark and Devious scent, which I'm all over, really want to try that one. So anyway, back to Ursula. The scent description for this one is an alluring potion of wild blackberry, scarlet raspberry and bubbly goji berry wrapped up in vengeful vanilla silk will leave you spellbound. As I said, it is a really nice fragrance, but for me, it's just not a very good performer. Um, I do have another bar of this, and I've only warmed three cubes of this one. I probably won't pick another bar up, um, as much as that pains me, because, as I say, I do really, really like this scent. But for me, the only way, even in this small office room, the only way I can get a decent throw from this is in this room, 25 watt warmer with the door shut. So 
there are other fragrances out there which for me perform far better so yeah I don't think I'll be having another one then we have a long discontinued as in I think it was last last year maybe um, well, actually it might have been the start of this year breakfast blend so this is get buzzed on the pure scent of rich just brewed coffee and I really hope they bring this back at some point um, as it is just like a rich fresh brewed coffee um, been, oops. tend to warm this one in the kitchen and you do get that really nice rich smell from it then one which I'm looking forward to seeing the end of is Rise and Sunshine from the 10 Years in Europe collection. So this is Sunny Orange Sparkles over the eye-opening sweetness of cherry and red berries. And it reminds me a bit of Blood Orange Spice. It's one that it has grown on me. Um, but for me it's not a repurchase I've been warming this one in the utility room but it's for in there it's absolutely fine then we have Scarlet Sunflower which was one of the 10 new fragrances released this year and the description of this is juicy apple and a hint of red cranberry are brightened by a scarlet sunflower turning to face the sun and this one is really nice I've got a bit left I do have another bar in the cupboard. This one is really nice and I would repurchase this one. It won't be going in my Scentsy Club when it retires at the end of this year. But I do hope it comes back next year. Then one, another one which retired in February is Salted Lavender. And this is one that I do really like in the bedroom. Only have two cubes left so I hope this makes a comeback. And then last but not least, and the reason that I've saved this one to last is because for me it has been a fantastic performer. And it is October's scent of the month, which is Fairy Tale Pumpkin. The scent description for this is an epic fantasy of harvest pumpkin, midnight black raspberry, and a whisper of black licorice. And I've in, I've kind of enjoyed this so much I've actually warmed through the entire bar in a week I think it is um is it a week yes yes I think it is a week um I've had this one going in the dining room and the kitchen, no, the dining room, the living room and in my warmer here. Really, really enjoyed this one. I don't, I don't tend to have the same fragrance in multiple warmers. I tend to mix them up a bit. However, I did like this so much. I was like, I want it pretty much everywhere. Um, this one definitely going in my Scentsy Club because I can see that certainly this time of year it's going to become one that is very welcome on those cold dank days. So that's it from me for this week. Um, the one towards the end of this week, beginning of next week will probably be a little light just because I'm away from Thursday until Monday. So it's only really Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, probably four days worth. I may roll that forward and just do another week and a half one. But as I kind of finished two bars off, I just wanted to do the video. And of course, because of the comeback for the villains collection tonight. So thank you for joining me. And until next time, take care, stay safe and happy warming. See you soon.